This is an American elm, and they used to be one of the most commonly planted trees in our cities and suburbs here in the U.S. That is, until we accidentally introduced two non-native fungi commonly known as Dutch elm disease, which resulted in tens of millions of dead elms. But there's good news. The American elm is making a bit of a comeback in our landscapes thanks to a few disease-resistant varieties. We planted this American elm at my local park just two years ago, and it's doing really well. It's almost tripled in size. This is the new Harmony cultivar, which is Dutch elm disease-resistant and is a a great candidate for parks or street trees. There are a few other cultivars like Princeton, Jefferson, and Valley Forge elms that were selected for their disease tolerance. They typically require a bit of structural pruning and more care in the first 15 years or so. Not to mention that our native elms are great for wildlife. They support close to 200 species of butterflies and moths in my area, and their seeds are eaten by some birds. You may want to consider these cultivars instead of the widely overplanted non-native Japanese alcova, 